So welcome to the uh, fifth Apache Flink meetup here in Berlin. It's a great pleasure to have you here this evening. Uh, as always, we'll start with the community update of this month. Um, as always, you can uh, also subscribe to this um, news at flink.apache.org uh, mailing list to get notified um, by a low traffic mailing list when we have updates to share. Um, so we will basically publish this presentation also as a blog post. So what happened um, in March? The community decided to um, release a 0 0.9 milestone one version, um, hopefully next week. Um, we do this because the 0 0.9 release will be probably the biggest release of Apache Flink so far because it adds a lot of new modules to it. It also changed a lot of internals in the system and we want to get it out to the users so that they can easily test it and uh, give us feedback on it. Also, we will announce this um, release on the um, ApacheCon, which is happening um, in Texas. Um, so yeah, when it's out, please check it out and give us feedback. Um, another big news from, uh, I think, last week even is that we <coughs> Um, have now a Flink runner for the Google Dataflow API. So Google Dataflow is um, basically a hosted service where you can implement a Dataflow graph that is executed in the Google Cloud. Um, and now with this runner, you can also execute um, jobs implemented against this API with Apache Flink. So you can test it locally easily. You can also deploy it on your cluster, and you don't have to pay Google for it. Um, yeah, then we focus a lot on um, the streaming stability and fault tolerance. So now we have um, experimental support for um, Kafka source checkpointing, which means that when you're running a streaming job from a Kafka source and the job fails, then Flink is aware of the latest um, stable or latest completely processed record from the Kafka source. So we can pick up from there and continue processing um, from that last known stable checkpoint. We also added support um, within YARN so that we can reallocate failed containers um, and maintain the number of requested uh, containers in the YARN cluster. We also reworked a lot in the um, low-level network API and uh, runtime for um, a batched execution runtime, but Stefan will explain that later in the main talk. Now. We also merged the um, table API, which was presented in the last meetup or one before um, as the expression API, which is now called table API. Um, we also added Java support for that. I think that also was requested here in the meetup by somebody. So now you can um, do these very nice, um, simple tasks um, just by specifying uh, string-based expressions. Um, and they are interchangeable between the regular data set abstraction and the stable abstraction. Um, we also started um, merging and working on the Flink machine learning library. We have the ALS algorithm that was published um, in, our, in, in the, our blog. Um, merge root master, we also added linear regression and multiple linear regression, and also a lot of utilities for basic data types and um, standard file um, formats. And I've added this very short link here for our JIRA, where you can um, see the list of open JIRAs. And there you can see give, get, uh, get an overview of what we are planning to do, and also opportunities to contribute. Um, yeah, there was a lot of um, stuff going on in the web as well. Um, we had a very nice blog post about um, the, yeah, basically it's about um, how we process joins inside Flink, but actually the article is much more. It also um, explains how we optimize the joins, how we internally manage memory, um, and a lot more. It's very interesting to read, easy to understand, and you will learn a lot about the system. Then somebody published an article about um, naive base in uh, Apache Flink. It's also a very nice article, easy to read, with a lot of code examples, so check it out. Then we got a lot of um, publicity in the, for this Google Dataflow um, announcement. Google blogged about it. And we had a blog post in our blog. 
And uh, also Heise, for example, um, yeah, reported about it. And we finally published like the full version of the ALS um, report. So this article is like yeah, explaining really in depth um, how we were able to um, factorize that huge matrix with Apache Flink. Um, we also spent some time on documenting the internals. That's an ongoing um, effort, but we already have really nice results. Um, you can learn how we exchange data between the task managers or operators. We explain how our um, type system, type extraction, um, serializer framework works, um, the memory management, and also the distributed runtime using ACA and Actors. Um, how that all works together. It's really nice. It has a lot of fancy pictures, so check it out. Um, yeah, and finally, <laughs> we have happy users on Twitter that uh, have been waiting for Apache Flink all their life, and now they have it. Um, yeah, this user is excited about the Scala API, and um, yeah, this guy is using a very interesting setup of launching Apache Flink on Mesos by running it um, through Myriad, which is an abstraction layer on top of Mesos to run Yarn on it. So it's like five layers until he actually runs Flink, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> I was also a bit, uh, yeah, it was interesting that it worked, but yeah. Um, yeah, and we were pretty active. Stefan is the winner <laughs> of this month, at least uh, by the comet counts. Um, but yeah, we added uh, or we touched one, roughly 100,000 lines of code. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff to check out, and we're really looking forward for the next big release. Um, and I think it's a pretty good introduction to the next talk by Stefan, which is going to look into the past, uh, present, and future of Apache Flink. This, this is the rule. Always the person that commits most in the month has to give a talk, so that's why people are holding back. <laughs> <laughs> All right.